Vietnam. The big question, what would consciousness do? What would consciousness do in this situation? And when we ask that question, it really just changed the way we see the world. Not what would I do, mind, a little frightened. What would consciousness do? You know, this, this is a great line. If it's not right, don't do it. If it's not true, don't say it. And what would transform this world overnight is if we started doing what we knew to be right in the situations we face instead of what we think is right for us in the moment. Not what are the consequences for me or what's the best thing for me, how do I get the best deal out of this. What is right, what is just in this situation? If we started making decisions based on that, the world would transform overnight. These are very simple things. If we want a world of peace, then we need to be peaceful. We don't need to fight for it. We just need to be peaceful and we'll bring that about. If we want a world of kindness, we need to be kind and then it will naturally unfold. We don't fight for kindness. As Martin Luther King said, it's a wonderful saying, piece of uh, oratory. Cowardice asks the question, is it safe? Expediency asks the question, is it politic? Vanity asks the question, is it popular? But conscience, consciousness asks the question, is it right? And there comes a time when one must take a position that is neither safe, nor politic, nor popular, but one must take it because it is right. And when enough of us do that, what is right will manifest by definition. And we're in this position now where this, this, this vibrational change, this energetic change is taking place, where we can start cracking these eggshells. When we can start becoming the full magnitude of who we are, where we can be consciousness in the now, using mind to experience this reality instead of being governed by it. Turning the key to let consciousness in. We're being offered this opportunity now. It's no longer can we say we didn't realize who we are, we didn't know we could do that. I was, I was kind of waking up one day, and I saw this uh, earth with, imprisoned, and I saw this big lock and a key going in and being turned. I went on the internet just very shortly afterwards. I was looking for a picture, not this one, and that's what I saw. The picture I'd just seen in my half kind of sleep. And that's what we're being offered the chance to do now, to turn the master key called becoming conscious that will bring an end to this. It's being given to us, we just need to take it. And to take it, we need to say enough. Enough of being enslaved by these people. Enough of being enslaved by our manipulated ignorance. Enough of being enslaved, enslaved by the fear of being who we are. Enough. It is time to fly. It is time to fly. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.